Hello everyone, this is Lydia and I have a project share today. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can recycle the K & Company ephemera pack packaging material, which, you know, when uh, K & Company puts these sets out, they usually have, well, like, it's kind of mangled up right now, but it has on the packaging all the images of what's inside. So I didn't want to throw these out and I'm on a budget, so I like creating my own embellishments. So this is um, the new, um, I don't think it's new, might be from last year. This is the Kelly Panacci that everyone's been pick picking up for Valentine's Day. So let me show you what I've done. I've altered a couple of items. I've made my own chipboard um, buttons. I've altered some clothespins, and I've also altered some bottle caps. Okay, so let's get started. For my buttons... My chipboard buttons and you know they look kind of like the Prima ones. I made this one and I made this one. And all you have to do is grab some more packaging. I used this one by Kane Company and I punched out four circles using my EK Success one inch punch. And the reason I did four is because you want to give it that height, that thickness. If you just do one it's going to look like sad. <laughs> it's going to be really thin, so punch out four, and then I added the fifth layer, which was the image, and then I just punched in my holes and added some glossy accents. Come on, camera focus. I really love the little girl on here. So cute. So these are cute for um, Valentine's Day, and then I altered some clothespins, and I, well, I first I added some um, Distress Ink in Barn Door by Tim Holtz onto the pin and then using the Martha Stewart heart punch I punched out the image and then I added some silver stickles let me show you the other ones they turned out so cute here's the one with the ticket my camera does not want to focus today there's the one with the ticket and then here's the one oh, there it goes and then here's another one another image and then I made sure that I backed the back of the hearts with some print paper because you're gonna have the writing from the packaging you're gonna have this on it so you wanna do the backs so those turned out really cute and then I started playing with my bottle caps and I've seen three types in the market they come in different colors and some of them have patterns like this one many of these I received in racks thank you ladies and then I've seen three styles one is this one, it looks like your regular bottle cap. And then there's this one where the edges are turned down. And then there's a third one, but I don't have it have any to show you because I used them all up. But just imagine a dinner plate. It has a really nice smooth um, edging on it. Now on this one, well not this one, but this type here. I ran it through my cuddle bug using what plates were A and C and I got it to look like this which I prefer. So that's a tip there. So let me show you my altered bottle caps. Now you don't have to make them into charms. You could just add a piece of paper and um, some glossy accents. Here's one that Karen altered for me and she made it the handle for this box. So see, she just added the paper and some glossy accents. And that looks really beautiful. And you can tuck it in a card or tuck it between the flowers. But I made charms. So here's one of the images. And I just added a bit of um, seam binding in red. And I used some lanyard hooks. And then I created these this little dangle piece here using um, these red beads that I took apart from a, uh, an old vintage uh, bracelet. I like the color red on that and I like the shape of it. So I created, you know, the little bead dangling on there. And I also finished the backs with some paper, again using my one inch um, circle punch. And then the papers are Kane Company's Valentine's Sweetheart and they all have hearts. These look like polka dots, but they're teeny tiny hearts. And then I used a playing card. I got this idea from Lori and Amenia. Thanks, Lori, for my packaging. And they already had this red print on them, so I just covered um, the other side with the paper. 
So that's one. And I'm going to be sending these out in some racks. So that's why I'm packaging them up. And then this one. Those are the really sweet images on that packaging. It was like an assembly line. So they all pretty much look similar except that they have a different um, image. Here's the boy kneeling down with the heart. Some more paper. And I edged the, um, the cards with um, some vintage photo. Then I made this one. Super cute. And then this is my favorite. I just love, love this image. And then let me show you how I package them. I use some of these three by four plastic bags that I picked up at the flea market. They were a hundred for a buck, so I have to go back for more. And I just used my Martha Stewart punch on some designer paper and I use some vintage photo. And then when I'm doing my packaging, I always like to try to add something that they can use. So I have a tiny little crochet piece here from um, Julie, the paper bag lady one. I just got my order from her. I'll, I'll try to do a whole video so I can show you her beautiful trims. And then I added a bare clothespin for her to alter. So that's the packaging. There's the other image again from the packaging. And then I just um, used a stamp here and I signed it and predated it to February because these are going out in some Valentine's Day racks. Okay, ladies, that is my share for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Post a comment if you wish. Give it a try and have a fabulous day. Bye.